Hello guys, welcome to AJ Media YouTube channel. My name is Ashok and in this video, I will be showing you what is CD command and we will be learning about it. Okay, so without wasting any time, let's learn CD command. So basically CD command is used in order to change the directories. So how do we write CD command? It's simple. We will write CD and we'll press enter. Now what I did was, now I have written CD and enter. So let me tell you, keep this in mind. If you are writing CD and enter, once you open the terminal, you will be inside the home directory. Okay. If I press LS, you can see these are the directories of the home directory. Okay. So what uh, is the next thing is, I will show you what is the particular syntax that we follow in order to write CD command. Okay. So this is not a command. This is just the demonstration what I'm showing you about the syntax. So here we have to write directories. Okay. Whichever the directories you want to navigate, you will write CD space and then the directory name. Got it? Okay. So let me erase this. So now in the directory part, what I will do is I will go inside this documents directory. So like this, we will write and we'll press enter. So now you can see here we are inside this documents directory. So if I press LS, I can see these two folders or directories, these two folders or directories. Got it. So what I want to do is I want to go inside this books directory. So let me type books and press enter. And if I LS, I can see these many directories are present. Okay, so let me show you the graphical way. So inside not downloads inside this documents directory, I'm inside this books and inside this books we have uh, so many directories. So yeah, what I have to do now is I need to go inside this uh, my folder directory so here you can see right there is one my folder so how will you go there can you write this think for a while will this work it will not work if i press enter it will give me this error message saying too many arguments so what to do i want to go inside this folder see I want to go inside this folder. How can I do that? It's simple. You can do it in three ways. So the first way I will show you, you can write CD and then my, and what you have to do is you want to ignore the space, right? Because if you write CD, my folder, what the system will do is it will check the command and it will only check the first argument that is my. It will ignore all the space and folder. So for that, what we will do is we will write a backslash. Okay. Backslash and then a space. Then we will write the folder. Got it. And if I press enter now here, you can see we are inside this my folder directory. If I press LS, we can see there is nothing inside this directory. So what I can do is I'll just create a new text file saying test.txt. Got it. So we have this file. Now if I press LS, we will get this particular text file. So in order to come one step back, we saw in the last video that we used LS and period period like this. Okay. In order to list entire content of the parent directory, which was one step back. Now here in this case, in this case, what we have to do is we will write CD. Okay. So this will navigate one step back. So we will come inside this books directory. If I press enter, you can see here we are inside now books directory. If I press LS, we can see all these directories are present. Now what I want to do is I want to go inside this my folder directory, but not like this. Okay. So there is another way how you can do it. So you will have to write CD. Then you will have to pass the arguments as a string. So what we will pass here my folder and if you press enter 
now here you can see we are inside my folder directory if i press ls we'll get we'll get the same t test.txt file here okay so let me come one step back as we saw we will write a cd and period period now the another way is cd and then the single quote that's it my folder if i press enter you can see i am inside my folder okay got it let me clear the screen first so we will write clear command we saw this in last video or also you can write uh, or also you can type uh, control l to clear the screen got it so now the next and the last thing is how you can navigate inside the root directory so you can see here we are basically inside this documents books and then my folder so you you can do this simple trick cd space and then the forward slash this will navigate to the root directory it doesn't matter whichever the folder you are located in okay so you will have to write cd and then the forward slash that's all it will navigate to the root directory as i did here so now you can see we are inside this root directory before we were inside this documents books and then the my folder directory if i press ls you can see all the directories and files of the home directory okay so the next thing is i will write cd and this will come to my home directory defaultly so now the next thing is uh, i'll go inside this documents now the same way how we saw this uh, um, root directory now what i want to do is i want to come back to the home directory one way is to just write cd the other way is to write cd and tilde got it this will also navigate to home directory now the next thing what uh, we are going to learn is about absolute path and then the relative path okay how to navigate to a particular directory through absolute path so what i want to do now is i am basically inside the home directory so i want to navigate to this my folder okay i want to list whatever the content is there inside this my folder by navigating so there are two ways let me tell you the first one which is absolute path so in the absolute path you will write the entire path from the root okay so what you will do is cd will start with forward slash home and then machine name and after this uh, we were inside this documents and after the documents we have books and after the books we will write my folder got it this one we discussed right and after that we will press enter now we can see we are inside this documents folder uh, documents books and my folder so this way we have written the entire path so this is called as absolute path okay if i press ls i will get the test.txt file which exists inside this my folder directory see inside my folder we have this test.txt now the next thing is uh, to know about relative path got it so for the relative path what we will do is we won't write like this entirely so i will directly begin with the documents and then these many things okay so cd documents books my folder got it now this way it is called as the relative path we are not writing the entire uh, path to display whatever the content is there inside uh, i mean to whatever uh, the directory is to change so now if i press ls we can see test.txt got it so i hope i have covered whatever can be covered under cd command so thank you very much guys for watching this video i hope you guys have gained something new please do hit that like button and share as much as you can if you think that this video will benefit some other person subscribe to my channel in case you are new and i'll see you soon in the next video so till then bye bye happy learning